Yo, 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 everyone, welcome to another vlog. So, you've probably just looked at the thumbnail and title of the video, and yes, it is true. Today, we will be selling the Range Rover Sports. So, I know you're all probably sad and like crying now, but don't worry, because you know what that means. That means we're making room for another car for sure. So, the Range Rover. We've had a great journey. Okay, everyone, give it a moment of silence. Moment of silence for the car. Wow, it's so sunny. But yeah, it is going. It's not a big deal. I mean, don't get sad, guys. Don't worry. Because I'm actually quite happy that it's going. Because you know what that means. Maybe another Lambo to come. Maybe we're going to win a new Lambo. Who knows? But for sure, we will be getting another car. Today, we're actually... Okay, it sounds funny. But we might actually get two cars. I know. Okay, let's just... Okay, forget about all of that. Just the main thing is, today, the car is being sold. I think... Yeah, for sure it's going today. I think the person is coming to collect it today, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I also need to go give back the camera I got yesterday and exchange it for a GoPro. I think that'll be better. Okay, one, one more moment of silence. <laughs> We've had such great journeys together, Range Rover. We've had such great journeys. But who knows, new journeys to come. I think because it is the last time, I'm not sure if the person's collecting it today, another day, maybe in a week, who knows. But because I know it could be going any time now, based on when the buyer is going to pick it up, let's do a small little review of the things I like about this car. So, I'm going to get the keys and show you some unseen things you guys might not know this car had. So, be right back. All right, I got the keys from inside. Now, I'm not sure if the features I'm gonna show you are all gonna work because one of the features I really love about this car, okay, let's see if it works. Darn it, it doesn't work. Basically, when it's dark and you unlock this car, it'll give you a circle on the floor saying Range Rover. Now, I know you guys have seen that before. Okay, another part I love about this car, and I know these features are pretty basic, a lot of them, but it's just things you appreciate, just like that. You come to your car, you press the button, and your boot opens, and if you don't, you just press it, stops, press it again, closes. I love these features, by the way, and one feature you actually might not know about is what I'm about to show you. So the door is normally on a door, when you open it, you have to like slam it shut, but this, let's just say, okay, I bring it down really, really gently. Do you see that? The door pulls itself in. It has this like, I don't know, automatic closing thing. But just for the sake of missing this car, I'm gonna go sit in it and chat with you guys for a little bit. Actually, I'm not really gonna chat too much. I'm just gonna take you through. Oh, my back, my back. The door just shut on my back. But yeah, let's just appreciate the interior of this car one last time. I'm not sure, I think, I don't think it's going today because it's getting kind of dark and yeah, I don't think the buyer's going to pick it up today, but it might be going soon. So in case it goes like tomorrow morning when I'm asleep, let's just do this little tour of the car. So I'm really going to miss the interior of this car. I know I've seen it so much, but I think it's just like something, you know, you take for granted while you have it. And then once it's gone, you're like, damn, I missed that. So look at this. I love the interior. It looks so nice. Like. Damn it, I haven't even taken any Instagram pictures of this car, so I might do that now just to have as like memories. But yeah, as I said, it made sense with the car to go now, especially with my car coming in soon. And that was a great journey. I think one and a half years with this car. It's a 2014 model. And yeah, it's been it's been quite a journey. Not bad, not bad. So me and Mommy Mar are just about to go get Bubbles some food. Just embrace the view, guys. This could be one of our last times with this car. Let just feel it up. Oh, you know how many vlogs we made in this car? I'm gonna miss you, bro. I'm gonna... Okay. Breathe, Mo. Breathe. I know, I know. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. So the reason I have not even managed to go anywhere today is because... My video, I uploaded it three times and it failed. Three times. Bearing in mind, the first time, it took an hour and ten minutes. And on the last two minutes, it failed. Like, it's seriously annoying when that happens. And it just annoys me so much. But, because of New Year's, new me, I don't care. Like, you know what? It happened, it happened. I, I can't do anything about it. So, I sat at home, editing it. And now, finally... Finally, thankfully, it uploaded, but it's only in 720p. So if you guys see my videos in 720p, please understand that my internet has been acting up on me. It's been playing me. I don't know why it's doing this to me, but 
I need to go swap out that camera I got yesterday for hopefully a GoPro. I think the GoPro should be better. And maybe I can do some swimming tonight. I swear, my muscles started aching. You know, I've been doing the biceps. I've, I've been staying on it, guys. I really have. Like, I'll just pick it up throughout the day and do some biceps. And yeah, I know you guys are probably wondering, Mo, only biceps? I know, I don't know why. I haven't done any other body part. Okay. Video should be finished in two minutes and we should be good to go. It's just been frustrating me so long. So it turns out the car is going to be with us today. No one came to pick it up. But this is what I meant about the light. Yo, flex on them real quick. <laughs> Let's go. I just arrived at the mall and I'm super anxious to see if they're going to take this back from me because I want the GoPro. Oh, wow. Okay. Two Mercedes AMG GTs, I think. I don't know what you call them. GTS, that's it. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. One's white and one's matte black. I really like the matte black one though. It looks so mean. This is definitely a car I'd have. So guys, I did manage to exchange it for the GoPro as you can see in the bags. And because we did so, my mom is filling out a raffle ticket right now because we paid like an extra 700 for the GoPro. So that means one more chance to win the Lamborghini. <gasps> oh my God. If Mummy Mo wins, I swear that's not fair. I wish that, okay, this is my ticket. Write my name on this, okay? <laughs> if I win, that's gonna be so funny. Seriously, I, I, I'm calling it from now. If I win it, I've called it already. That should have my name already written across it. Mo Vlogs, anywhere. Because you know I'm gonna win that, right? It, it's already Illuminati planned out. <laughs> Okay, we're actually going to KFC right now, and I know you're probably thinking that ain't special Mo But every time I go we don't get a bucket, you know the bargain buckets But now we're gonna get it because I'm having it my mom's having it and my sister's at home And she's starving and she's gonna have it as well. So let's have a family feast I'm not gonna look left because I know the car's probably looking inside thinking what am I doing? Oh, oh, let's just ignore them Ignore the haters outside the window. <laughs> I wanna go just to get up next to you. Food is home. Hello. We got the KFC. By the way, my sister's upstairs, that's why I was shouting. Yo, this is wet. What's in here? Ugh. Alright, as soon as I eat my KFC, because I'm starving right now, I'm going to open the GoPro and the headphones. The headphones are actually worth like 300, no, 250 pounds, which is like $400. Damn, son, they come free with it. So they've got like a really good deal at the moment because of the shopping festival. Anyways, two extra buns, another four buns, and you know, the good, good business. What we've been waiting for, the bucket. The almighty bucket. Bow down. Bow down to the bucket. <laughs> so guys, let's do a quick unboxing of the things I got. So, I got this headset free with the GoPro. It's actually a really expensive headset and I'm excited to use it. But the main thing in the things I got was this GoPro. So let's just start unboxing it now. I'm super excited. Okay, let me make sure. Hero 4 Black Edition. That is the good one, I'm pretty sure. Anyways. I always love doing this when I buy something, just taking off any sort of plastic. Because it was Dubai Shopping Festival, they give you a little case with it as well as the headphones. To be honest, that is a very, very good deal. So I'm just going to sit here and take off everything. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hate sellotape. It gets so annoying. It's a pretty standard case. I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys. Let's see what is in there. So. It's got these really cool compartments. I'm guessing you can put accessories, the GoPro, and some other stuff in this strap. Okay, not bad, not bad. The main thing itself is this, the GoPro Hero Black Edition. There's a lot of things moving in there, okay. <laughs> Voila. Yo, does this not come with a screen? There's the GoPro, I finally got it out of its packaging. Now, something I actually didn't know, I thought it had a screen with it, and it doesn't. So, I'm guessing the Black Edition doesn't come with a screen, but it's the one with the highest quality. It can shoot up to 4K. I'm gonna try and go to the local streaming pool we have if it's still open, test this out, and yeah, let's see what it's all about. 
After that, I'm gonna come and open this headphone because, um, yeah, I wanna get there before it closes. Peace. So it's actually been a really, really long time since I last came swimming, and I just love swimming. It's a nice way of relaxing your muscles and just relaxing you. So I'm gonna go, look, the swimming pool is empty. I'm gonna show you. Look at it, there's nobody in the swimming pool. How great is that? Yo, I'm so excited to go into the water right now. I hope it's not cold because, okay, let's, let's do a test. It's actually warm. Wow, the water is actually warm. That's really good since it is kind of cold outside. Yeah, put your foot in it. The water is actually hot. Okay. It's good, right? Yeah, it's warm. It's warm. Yes, let's go swimming. I just quickly rushed over home because I'm not sure if I can even get the footage now but I was using the GoPro underwater fully closed and water went in it. Now I don't know what it is, I'm going to try and test it out again but like it's so obvious like you can't even like, alright I'm going to show you. So when you close it, you close it like this, you put, you put this over here and look, look how tight it closes, one second, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So you, this hooks over here and bang. That's how you close it. It's so like easy and you can tell when it's closed and there is water going into it. Now, I have to see if this still works. I don't know how water went into it. Oh my God. I swear to you, like I just feel like I'm getting like jinxed or something like bad luck is going on with me recently. Like yesterday with the camera, I swear like that camera, I don't know, it just turned out bad and now this, this which is a good GoPro, water goes in it because it wasn't closed, like I swear I closed it properly, like it's so hard when you close it and now there's water in it. I'm not even, I'm not even going to stress about it to be honest, like I'm just going to touch wood, where's wood, I don't know, okay, wood in my head, okay wait, actually, I found wood, touch wood, no more bad luck is going to happen, I swear, knowing me, that would have just collapsed right now, that's how much luck I'm having at the moment. Anyways, let's go on to open the headset I have over there on the table. I'm so mad because I was so excited about the GoPro and I use it and I did check the footage. The footage is like not touched, but I only managed to get three and because the water went in it, it shut itself down. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna open the headset as I did tell you I'd do it when I got home. I didn't even get to swim much because I quickly ran home to try and fix that. So. First of all, cool little flap that opens over here, and then, and then I have no idea what to do, so. Okay, headset is out now. So that's the little box that comes in, and then, after that, can you pull this open? No, 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 no. There you go. It's got a really nice box, okay. Flap opens like that, and then inside comes this very nicely packaged headphone. I swear, I feel like I'm becoming this reviewer. And then after that, let's open it. See what it is. Ta-da! There you have your headphones. Now, I listened to it inside and it actually did sound very nice. Look at it, the fit fits nicely. Let me just extend it. Okay, there you go. It has like this smooth, like normally, headphones like this click, but you see how it just goes in and out really smoothly. So that's pretty cool as well, it's kind of useful. And there we go. Before I end today's vlog, I kind of want to talk to you guys and it's in regards to life. There you go, life with more. I think you guys seem to enjoy me talking a little bit. And I swear, like today, after I did that unboxing, I was so excited. And I know this probably happens to a lot of you. Like, have you ever had that day where you're so excited to do something and it turns out so bad. Like I was so excited to use my new GoPro. Like just got it today. I went and exchanged yesterday's one. And to be honest, that was stress in itself. I was like, what if they don't take it back? They're like, oh, no exchanges and stuff like that. And they actually did. So I was like, yes, like that was stress in itself. I was like, oh, I don't want to get like stuck with a camera that I don't want. So first of all, that's how my day started. I was stressing out about that. Get a new camera. I'm like, okay, yes, there's no way, today is perfect. I got my new camera, it all went smoothly. And five minutes after I unbox this, I go swimming. Five minutes after I unbox this, I go swimming. I'm under the water, I take about 10 seconds, and I see it shuts down and it says error. And I was like, wait a second, what's going on? And then this whole thing in here, 
and I'll tell you, okay, I'm going to tell you how this messed up, okay? So, if you see, wait, one second, let it focus. So, if you see this, okay, one second. Okay, this is how it messed up. So, this is how the GoPro slot opens. Now, when you put this in, it should go in perfectly like this, okay? One second, let's, let's let it just push in perfectly. There you go. That is how it slots in. Now, if you can see that, this is how mine slotted in. The camera didn't fully go in. Now, this is not fully in, if you see what I mean. Can you see the edges on the outer edges? There's like little gaps. Now, it should be in like this. That's how it should be in. Now, you see no gaps. And mine was in like that with a little bit of a gap on the inside. And when I closed it, it did close. But then, that's how the leak happened. Anyways, what I wanted to get out of this little speech is I basically had a bad day type of thing. But, that's not the point. What I want to say is never be down or negative about what's happened because negativity is not going to solve a bad situation it's just going to make it worse for example at first when this happened i was like oh no i quickly ran home and then like five minutes later i was like you know what mo who cares like what's the worst that can happen like yesterday i went and bought the camera and i was like you know what let me try something different and what happened at the end of it I didn't like it and I gave it back. I didn't use it, just packaged it up nicely and gave it back. Today, this happened. The worst that can happen in the situation is this is going to get ruined. I'm either going to get a new one because it's under warranty or I'm not. That's it. Like this could be damaged. Who knows? I don't know what I can do with it, but I'll have a pair of headphones. But if I was just negative about it, I'm going to stress myself out, get myself some white hairs then I have to pay to dye them white hairs black again. And you know what I mean. So if you're someone that's just having something stressful going on, always try and be positive and think of a solution. For example, I just quickly ran home and I was like, let me let it dry up because I had wet hands and everything. I was like, okay, let me go home. I was planning on putting it in rice because rice apparently helps with stuff like that. But I ended up not doing it. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Yolo, yolo, I'm out.